Fox 10 Gulfstream. This is Next Weather. Well, something's happening in space and in the ionosphere and way up there, way off the Earth's surface where we are seeing a geomagnetic storm. Of course, we can't see it visually this far to the south. We have clouds anyway, but what is a geomagnetic storm? For more, here's meteorologist Jennifer Lambers. Well, something happened this weekend that you might not have heard about. NOAA, the Space Weather Prediction Center, has issued a geomagnetic storm alert. And so to understand what exactly this is, I want to go ahead and break down the timeline of what exactly happened first. So on Saturday, they said, hey, they issued a watch saying we're expecting a geomagnetic storm. Later that day, it was upgraded to a G2 warning, and that was because the conditions were observed. Now, the next day, it was upgraded even further further a G4 severe storm warning was issued and then it's still ongoing today on Monday, but it is weakening. So right now it's leveling between that G2 and that G3 level more of a moderate warning that we're starting to see. Now what exactly is this? A lot of big words were used there. The G2s, the G3s, that's just their scale of measuring these. But really what you need to know is that a geomagnetic storm is just a major disturbance in Earth's magnetic field that varies in intensity over the event. Now, no action is necessary. This really does not pose any harm to the public, and we're not expecting any negative impacts from this. The biggest things that are going to be impacted possibly is going to be some of those anomalies that could impact satellites. So it really doesn't impact everyday people, but the people that it could impact, those infrastructure operators, they've all been notified. So why exactly are we talking about this? Well, I mentioned something specific that was negative impacts that we're not expecting from this, but there is something cool that we typically see from some of these, and that is the Aurora Borealis. And so what causes this is that the coronal mass ejections, the CMEs, they're expulsions of magnetic material and plasma that come from the sun, and that all occurs during these geomagnetic storms. So we're watching this and these expulsions they travel through space and if they go in just the right direction and they come towards Earth, it's not all bad because what they're going to be doing is interacting with Earth's magnetic field and in our atmosphere, we have oxygen and nitrogen and once those all impact each other and they impact the North and the South Poles, then from there we get the northern lights. And so yesterday when this was a strong, severe storm at that G4 level, it was looking likely that some of these could have been dipping down to the Midwest. Even then, NOAA, NASA, they were saying Alabama was probably looking at a small chance to be able to see some of these. Now, unfortunately, with a weakening heading into today, those chances they have dropped. It's not looking as likely anymore, but let's go ahead and take a look at what the University of Alaska Fairbanks is calling for heading into tonight. So if you know of anyone that lives in our northern states, just closer towards Ohio, New York, Oregon, Washington, they are looking at a higher chance to see it, even calling for high chances heading into tonight to see the northern lights here in the US again just not dipping down as much and regardless we're looking at cloudy conditions heading into this evening and we're probably too south anyways but we'll continue to keep you updated on all of this again you'll likely be seeing some beautiful videos over the upcoming days reporting in studio meteorologist Jennifer Lambers Fox 10 News here is your extended forecast and we expect to see stormy weather for our morning commute tomorrow morning and really anytime after 4 a.m. tomorrow, severe weather possible in our area through about lunchtime. And then we see much better weather as we head towards Easter weekend. Great weather, a little bit cool at night, but some wonderful days and warmer by the weekend. Thanks for joining us for next weather.